what is happening traders what is happening traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to be looking at euro gpp don't forget that if you are looking for a reliable broker do make sure to sign up using the link that is in this video's description and receive yourself a trading bonus of 140 us dollars so let's get on with it so with, without going further um with looking at this pro what you actually need to try and note firstly is that um it is actually at a very crucial level right it is at a strong level right as you can see that this is my higher time frame this is the weekly time frame right so it is in a very strong level and you also have to note the way that euro gpp was actually approaching this level you can see that it was approaching it in a consolidating manner right remember what i said about price approaching um resist uh, a resistant or a support in a consolidating manner for let me just try and make an example let us say we've got our support there and then price moves like that so when price approaches this it approaches um that particular support like this right most of the time this would mean that um the sellers are actually losing momentum and this would be um this would be a chance for buyers to actually um get in right so also what you also have to note that when um let's just show that when price actually approaches a certain support using this manner right using which manner using this manner right here right you can see that we've got some sort of like consolidating pattern right they right so these actually most of the time it actually means that um the sellers are actually gaining momentum are actually accumulating momentum to actually break that particular um that particular support and these most and these most of the time it actually means that the sellers are actually losing momentum so if we can actually look at what is happening here you can see that um the price is actually approaching that level using this kind of accumulation process right so this might mean that the sellers are actually um gain uh, are actually losing momentum also what you have to take note of is we've got our head and shoulders on the weekly time frame right we've got our head and shoulders on the weekly time frame right but there is not all that you have to actually look out for right let us just go over to our pair right there and now we are on we are on our four hour time frame right so if we can closely look at our pair right here we can see that price is from a what see that price is from a resistance and also what we can take note of we can see that price has just formed this what that head and shoulders pattern <laughs> right so it actually formed a, a head and shoulders pattern um a bullish head and shoulders pattern and now it has actually uh, formed a bullish held head and shoulders pattern so that is why i i like saying to most of you guys that do not just do stuff because you feel like it do not just enter because because you are uh, try giving the market enough time for it for it to give you a clue on where it actually wants to go that is what i always say right so don't rush to enter and all of those things right so you can see that we've got our head and shoulders pattern there also the beauty about price action is that you are able to predict price um using past chart data so if we can closely closely and look at this pearl in depth we can see that this pearl has been sort of like forming some m patterns and then those m patterns getting manipulated and then price reversing you can see that we had that m pattern or double top and then price done what price came and then it actually manipulated it it actually beat out that high right we can also see that here we also had an m pattern or double top and then price done what and then price came and did what and manipulated it right and also we can also see here that we had our what we had our m pattern and price done what and price came and done what and manipulated it so there is there is some of the things that you actually have to take note of price repeats itself right so 
another interesting thing that you have to take note of here is that there was this resistance remember what i always say guys i always say that most of the time most of the time um price um they would actually manipulate a certain support or resistance or a certain high or low and then find the rest at the nearest support right what do i mean by that let us say we, we had price there so you had price there doing that money getting manipulated most of the time this level here would be a what would be another support the nearest uh, resistance to that resistance that was actually manipulated there right so that is what you actually take have to take note of um there so you can see that that um th that that pattern there was actually manipulated and then price actually found its rest on the nearest resistance as you can see that is the nearest resistance so why is this repeating itself and if 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 if, if we can look closely now is we can see that price is also doing what forming a head and shoulders um, i mean forming a, 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 a double top or an m pattern right so you need to actually be on the lookout since price might do what might do whatever it wants to do right and then come back to do what to actually manipulate that pattern there and then find its rest in this nearest um resistance and then do what so we are going to be looking at that resistance area there and then we are going to be um looking at our entry um confirmations at our entry rules that me and my students use and we are definitely going to take advantage of that right so that's just right about it guys so please do make sure that um you 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 actually look at at, at what has been actually happening right in the price you, you see so another thing remember that price on the weekly time frame has actually formed a head and shoulders on the weekly time frame a bullish head and shoulders and on the four hour time frame price has also done what has also formed this head and shoulders there on the four hour time frame and remember that the the higher time frames are actually stronger than the smaller time frames so we might see a shift on these um on on um on these pay right so we might see a shift on this pay like price might do whatever it wants to do play around to do its stuff there but we might we might end up seeing price doing what we might end up seeing price break from this consolidating structure that it actually formed while it was um while it was actually approaching that um that uh that huge um that strong level right there right so even if you you also do get get your cell your cell entry there do make sure that it's 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 going to be a, a, a short term a short term sell maybe you having to take your profit at this resistance i mean at this support right because remember price has already formed a head and shoulders in the hard time frame so um price might do what you wouldn't expect it to do so yeah um that is it for this video guys do make sure to sign up using the link that is in this video's description and receive yourself a trading bonus of 140 us dollars that is if you are looking for a reliable broker see you in the next video